Welcome brothers and sisters, it's your boy Mr. Lix and we're definitely back again for another Vibrations on this year, Mr. Lix Vlogs, man. Definitely check out the Vibrations on BR, BPTV as well as Mr. Lix Reaction, and guys, I'm actually heading to Salisbury so I can check out the Vibrations, maybe do a behind the scene Vibrations of the incident. Of course, December 5th is when the people of Salisbury were bombarded, brothers and sisters, with all sorts of strange things and tear gas and whatever, brothers and sisters. I'm gonna see if I can get a behind the scene some of these folks right there. So anyways, guys, let me continue driving and keep it locked right here and there. Right. We will uh. continue to stand and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. People have it's to fight. Early. Yes, we have to fight and mm. we have to keep our democracy. That's right, I agree, yes. I agree. Yes. 100 percent. 100 percent. What were you at when the whole, you know, different things was happening? Were you wrong? Or? No, I was not. Okay, okay. I was not wrong in person, but mm. I was there in spirit. I was in yeah, the yeah. space and oh my goodness mm. me. It was so what was going through your heart? Eh? What was going through your mind when you saw all this taking place in Dominica? I need to come down and fight for mm. my country. <laughs> That's what's up. That's and what's I up. came back home and I uh, am fighting for amen, my country. Amen, amen. Yes, sir. And I continue to stand. Uh, we fight in the good fight. True. We need to keep our democracy. Yeah, I agree. Alive. All of these pockets of resistance who today are looked upon as agitators, irritants and terrorists by the demon in chief and his uniform mercenaries taking instructions from a cornered and fighting coward who knows that his days are numbered. I started on myself first, eh? I have to pay for free vehicles, insurance every year, and license. Not about, not about 20 lines and all that things. So we in Salisbury, we pay no tax like anybody paying their taxes. Yeah. So we asking for a fair share of our tax. Right, right, okay? Right. So we will not back down for no man, no nigger. Yeah. We will not back down for no nigger. Yeah. That come yesterday and have work yet. Yeah. And take all what Dominica had yeah. and try to keep us poor. Yeah. We will not back down for them. Yeah. They can have all power because I remember there are many men who already ride higher horses than that man. Yeah, yeah. Saddam Hussein, Colonel Gaddafi, yeah. all those men there and they go down to nothing less than those men. Yeah. So I want everyone to keep courage that with God, the power of God, we will see what will happen tend to come. Yeah. And don't give us the lose hope. Yeah. And I want to make it abundantly clear, I'm not a party man. I'm a countryman, and I stand for my village first, right, right, right. and I want to tell people again, I will not leave my young fellow men in Sosbury and them working and not to advise them what to do to stand firm and to be independent, because being independent is very sweet and very nice. Yeah. There are people who cannot talk because they're not independent, right, right. They are, and that is what spirit knows, that is why when we ask him for a road in Goa, we don't feel that not giving to us our bridge. And the economic meeting they're going to give us our prison go up in about, about seven, six years now, and nothing has not been happening. Look all now, when you go up in the eyes of Sosbury, we cannot see where to drive. Bush cover the whole road. And he wants us to sit down and take all that crap from you. And after pay your taxes. And when you finish, you're going to tell people Sosbury like trouble. Because you, you cripple after you cripple cast people everywhere. You make them come forth, this road, the richest people. But we stand up, we are the resilient people of Dominica so free. We are, we are. And we will not get intimidated by that man. He will make all fret. And let me tell you something. We will not be afraid of you, my boss man. You can send riot squad, you can send death squad. You can send any squad, we will not fret you. He said earlier that Marigot and Salisbury are joined at the heart of Dominica. You look at the map, you'll see the evidence of that. And so, it's always a pleasure to stand in Salisbury to talk with the people of Salisbury about Salisbury's leadership rule for the better Dominica. Because for us to get to that better Dominica, this resistance movement against bad governance must succeed. Amen. And Salisbury and Marigot are right at the forefront of that struggle to rescue Dominica. Salisbury also leads in 
bringing the people of Dominica to the voice of their God. If only they would listen, you will see on the stone the dates on which the people of Salisbury were tear-gassed. What you don't see on that stone is another date that is perhaps equally significant. It is the date on which that the criminal enterprise was seeking to bring Salisbury people before the court because they had stood up for access roads to their farms. They had stood up for protecting their means of livelihood. They had stood up for their independence and providing for themselves. And you know, you have to take note of criminal enterprises. And you have to understand terrorism and what it means because the prime minister of this country loves to talk about who is terrorist and who is economic terrorist and who is terrorizing the country tell him that Bowie people say using expired tear gas on people fighting for their rights is terrorism about 3, 3, 30, about after 3, I was sleeping, but somebody run, some boys run up the road, but they're not from South Street. And they say, sorry people wake up, take care, police, police, sorry people wake up, police, police, sorry people wake up, police, police, take care, take care. But when I wake up, no, after, they go there, when they see some people not waking up, they go there, take a girl's vanish, and they drag in the road for people to wake up. So time I wake up and I check, by the my gate, I was living in the village at the time. And then when I check, go at the back of my room at Tegas Canister. In the porch of Tegas Canister, the Tegas Canister is burnt by the way. Tiles in the porch. Yeah, yeah. And that is how so we could get up that morning. Because it's when this fella dragged me. Because when I in the road, it was so many people to wake up because everybody like was sleeping. But it was not so many people standing like it was a stranger. I started shouting, so people wake up, police went, but they stand there and fight off. Coming down the village, so they started letting what they take and fight off. So they me check the whole village, cover with smoke and take Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And that is all. We get up in our bed. Okay, okay. <laughs> so what did you do? Did you do anything? I to, the truth to... is, I had I want my milk, I can't do it. Mm. So when the check is really fit, and the boys get up and they want this through, I had milk, um, not trading, and I just like selling milk for them and say, look, wash all the face, wash all the face, wash all the face. And the truth is, I never buy another catch one of milk up that effect. <laughs> when you go to bed tonight, think of this noble responsibility you have to lead Dominica. Think of the significance of what you're doing here this evening and the unveiling of the plaque, Resistance Square, and the stone that forever will remind the people of the unfortunate terrorist tear gas incidents. They came to you on the morning of the election of 2019. That was about intimidating you, preventing you from going to the polls to make sure they didn't win. They didn't win in 2019. They didn't even win in the sham election in 2022 either. And for that, Bowie has to be prepared to continue to stand. But you know, something about resistance and the work of God's people is that he always finds a way to help them. And the people of Bowie stand tall. They stand tall on their ingenuity, their skill, and their self-reliance. Lena Region. Lena Region, okay. From Salisbury. Salisbury, okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and you live around that area? Yeah. I live right opposite the bus stop. So you pretty much would have seen what was taking place with the tear gas. So yes. What, when, when you look through your window, what did you see? Well, I when I, I couldn't look from my window uh. because tear gas was, was spelt all at my mm. home, in my yard. And everything, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I really couldn't look. Mm. I, had to, I had to bend my louvers and look through the louvers, mm. you know, because there was so much tear gas in the area. Mm -hmm. And what I couldn't understand is these guys, they it looked like they were targeting people. Mm. Because if you are send, sending tear gas, you shouldn't send it to the to people who home. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to send the tear gas on the road, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And they, they targeted my home because mm. afterwards, I, when 
when I do realize what is going on, I, I look out my window. Mm. So I told the guys, what are they doing? Mm. Oh, you saw them? You I saw, saw them. The, okay, okay. Yeah, I saw them and I said, what are you all doing, guys? Mm, what did they say? They said that um, they are there to keep the peace. I the said, peace? Not, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you guys will sleep in? Well, sleep in, you know? <laughs> so I tell him, man, I tell him, but there was a protest there. You all cleared the road already. Mm. If you all clear the road, what are you all still firing tear gas at yeah, yeah, yeah. for? Do you think it was a form of intimidation, trying to intimidate you guys so you wouldn't act up again or something? Well, well, um, it was the eve of the election. Mm, mm. And I believe they did that to see if they could even stop us from going to vote, mm, you know? Mm. Because they know that we in Salisbury, we don't support corruption. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and the, 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 that regime is a very corrupt regime. That's true, very true indeed. Yeah, so... So that is one of the reasons why they will take us in us. Mm -hmm. Did you go and vote? I mean, was, was that was that something that you you say, hey, they take us in us, so I'm not gonna vote? No, it didn't stop you. They, it didn't stop me. Okay. okay. And uh, most of the villagers decided that, especially mm -hmm. some of the people that voted. Some of them w w said they would not vote, uh -huh. but because of that, they mm -hmm. decided that they are going to vote, vote to okay. make sure mm -hmm. that this Labour Party government don't did not take us Okay. Yeah. Tonight, I want to go back to 1979 and 1979 when the, the, the past president Charles Savre was the man that was teaching Dominicans their rights. Charles Bray tonight I want you to sing with me a song Charles Savre teach us to sing. We shall Overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Deep in my heart, I know we will. We shall overcome someday. government is jealous. I say jealous, jealousy. The jealous of the people of Salisbury. Yeah. Salisbury people have an ambition and Salisbury people have a zeal to move and develop Dominica, not Salisbury, no. Dominica. I am Betil Vidal, better known as T. December 20. 23. It was 3 o'clock. I didn't know exactly time. 2019. While I was sleeping around 3 o'clock, my granddaughter woke me up. Granny, Granny, look the house catching fire. I said no, because I put out everything. She said to me, yes, Granny, get up. The house catching fire. When I get up, I went in the kitchen, nothing. A little minute I hear tea, tea, open the door, open the door, we're dying, open the door. When I open the door, around 20 people just dash on me. When I open the door, fire, tear gas, everything inside the house inside the house. We're inside the house. We still cannot stay inside the house. I call my daughter. I say, Maso, Mioka, Chueno, we have a tech gas. She told me, you have milk there? I said, yes. She said to me, open the milk and just give it to them, wash their face and take water and wet all the lubers, all the um, curtains and you will be all right. Say for that is after, no madam? <laughs> My great grandson, a little boy, his mother running, he opened the door, look, I'm JJ dying. He was only two and a half years. Could you imagine? Eh? Could you imagine? At this time, you coming and kill us? What we do, we haven't done anything, anything, but one day, one day, 
spirit have to pay for you. He and his um, acolyte. Or you say, spirit have to go, but Hagen, the one that carrying the billion dollars, we have to hold him first. We have to hold him first. I was born here in Salisbury. Oh, me now was my mother. Tammy was my father. And I know what hardship is. I know what poverty is. I know what hungry is. And I fight my way. And the Lord has opened doors for me and blessed me mightily. <coughs> Sons with people have to stop. We cannot bow down to nobody. We will not and we cannot at no time. We have to work for our daily bread without depending on nobody. Nobody. That's it. Man, that's the person in Bandix and thing there, eh? I guess to remind us of, of what was happening during that time. Did not stand up here. Yeah, and selling police officers and all kinds of things. That was, yeah. 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 This concludes the vibrations that took place in Salisbury today, man. Tonight, actually, and of course, it's a bit of a sad situation that took place when the state was fighting its own people. But of course, Salisbury definitely wants to remind individuals of what took place so it does not repeat itself. One of the things when it comes down to history, brothers and sisters, we tend to forget history and not realize the kind of things that even our own state, brothers and sisters, would do to try their best to keep us oppressed, brothers and sisters. But we have to definitely take a stand when it comes down to this situation. And I think Salisbury is definitely the hallmark of when it comes down to reminding folks, hey guys, we must remember. So this does not happen to us again and one of the things that i noticed that they're trying to do is to also try to keep themselves unified i think that is a good thing unity is always strength especially when the your own government, brothers and sisters. This is one of the things that I understood with the United States. The United States arm its own citizens because sometimes when the government decides to turn against the people, the people must take a stand. And I think Salisbury has that notion right there. They're not going to bow down to anybody. I tell them people, I'm going to try to see if I can buy land in Salisbury. <laughs> they tell me only land sell out because people <laughs> have been trying to move to Salisbury. Salisbury is one of the most progressive or the number one progressive constituency in Dominica and don't seem to need anybody to help them of course we know Salisbury is the number one agricultural constituency in Dominica next one is Marigot it's rather interesting when it comes down to understanding you know that dynamic especially the constituencies that are being handled by the government don't seem to be doing well that reminds me of the Republican Democratic um, thing but that's the United States right there anyways guys that is about Mr. Lix wrapping up on this here Mr. Lix vlogs I decided to do that vibrations, get a little insight from the people, also to see some of the speakers. But of course, you can get more of the vibrations on MO News if you have not seen the full thing right there. And you will not see the full thing on this thing, but of course, you get the gist of it right here. Anyways, guys, well, I said it right there. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna go eat my lunch. Darkness, you know, outside there, but lunch time. Yes, that is the vibe, brothers and sisters. That's what happens from time to time right there.
when you do YouTube. <laughs> Big up the masses, them. Yes, man, the vote will come now. <laughs> Big up the snack massive one time. Anyways, guys, if you want to see it right there, give this video a thumbs up for the people of Salisbury. And of course, without sitting right there, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as it can to come around. With that said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, guys, be real, be positive. Welcome to Amis Felix Vlogs. constant uphill battle but it's also filled with some beautiful moments